We are introducing a three chakra tubeless gnosis technology in rectal sigma cancer. It is a 62 year old male with a high rectal lesion showing in colonoscopy. Pathology confirmed that it's an adenocarcinoma. CT scan shows this is a localized disease in the high rectum without distant metastasis. Here is the operation procedure. The abdominal cavity exploration finds there's no liver or omentum metastasis. The primary tumor locates in the high rectum. The first step is to move to the medial area and dissect the lymph node and soft tissues along the inferior mesentery artery. The best way to do this is to follow the plane between the toad's fascia and mesocolon. Meanwhile, we expand the plane to totally free the sigmoid colon which can help us stretch the colon easily later. During this step, we need to identify and preserve the left ureter. After we skeletonize the distal rectum, We close the rectal lumen at the distal margin level by ligation. Then the surgeon will wash the distal rectum by adovers carefully from anus. Now we confirm the proximal margins of the resection. After the skeletonization, we close the proximal colon lumen by ligation. After a couple times washing, the distal rectal lumen is clean. Then we cut the bowel by harmonic scalpel. After separating the bowel wall by sterilized film. We place the stapler anvil into the abdominal cavity through rectal lumen from the anus. Then the specimen is amputated from the proximal colon and extracted from the anus then out of the body. Then we close the distal lumen by Ethicon and GIA and wash the area for a couple times to minimize the potential contamination. Next, we place the staple anvil into the proximal lumen and complete the anastomos. The bubble testing shows there's no air leaking from the anastomosis. Then we close the mesocolon hiato by surgery. And finally, close the chakra incisions. Here the whole procedure is done and there's no tubes on patient after surgery. The duration of the surgery is about 19 minutes and the blood loss is less than 50 milliliters. The patient can take some liquid right after the surgery and walk around the following day. Bowel movement recovers at the second day and patient is discharged at the fifth day after surgery without complications. Thanks for your attention.